Uh, welcome back to the third video in this short series on using the POSKEY uh, 747400 models in uh, PSX and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, isn't that just an absolutely gorgeous view? That's the Cargo Lux 747-400 at the cargo terminal in Hong Kong. Um, I think that's just spectacularly beautiful um, and, and exciting. And uh, I hope you share that view. Anyhow, let's get back to what this is all about. This is about views and setting the views uh, so that they work for you. So let's hop back into the cockpit and that is the default view when you load the aircraft. Um, exactly like that. So what can we do to manipulate this so that it's right for you? Well, let's get the window in focus first and we can move around with the right click of the mouse button and we can pan and we can tilt up and down. Okay, and we can actually use the mouse button to zoom as well. So now what I want to do is on this video, I want to cover one other thing that's very, very important. And that is uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, they simulate icing on the windshield. And it, it, yeah, some people like it, some people think it's not so good, but the fact is we've got it and we have to live with it. But we really don't particularly want that in this model. So uh, you need to turn on the window heat in this model. It's the only thing you need to do in the cockpit. To, to uh, Other than that, it's a complete drone and dummy. But you just need to turn on the window heat. And now that won't allow, that, that'll stop the windows from icing up. Okay. And so let's just go back to that default view and we'll start over. Uh, but now we've got the window heat on. So Microsoft Flight Simulator ships with a, a, a set of keyboard controls. So as long as you haven't changed the keyboard profiles uh, in Flight Simulator, if you use the right alt and the up arrow key, you're going to move in and out. OK, so you can actually move back. And then if you use just the right arrow key on its own, now you're in the jump seat and you're the training captain. Uh, or you can move, I don't want to do that, I don't particularly want to move up. Uh, I want to go um, forward, okay, and then I want to go to the right and maybe come back just to Nats and left. And now I'm the first officer and I can move across and I'm the captain. OK, so that's basically your views. Now, this whole time, Microsoft Flight Simulator is in focus. OK, and now I want to show you the view without the cockpit. So let's move forward and out the front. Now, as I move forward, I want you to watch something as it comes across the screen. There it comes. See, top left. And whoops, it's gone. And here it is. That is going through the glass. All right, so now we're outside the glass of the windshield. And now we're inside the glass of the windshield. I think, I haven't tried it, but I think that makes a difference that if there's rain, you're going to get rain on the, wind on the windshield. And if there are bugs, you're going to get bugs on the windshield there. But if you go through it, you are clear. And so that's how you get the view without the cockpit. So let's go back again. That's now the default view and I'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, and I want to uh, just uh, tilt, uh, tilt down a little bit with the mouse. Again, everything's still in focus. And so that's, that's kind of just move left and that's and, and maybe up just a touch and forward just a touch and down just a touch. Pure preference as to what works for you. But there is how you set up that view. Now, 
all the time here we have had this in focus but when you're flying uh, PSX this window is not going to be in focus so what I've done is set up a an Xbox controller to uh, manipulate the view I'm using the right stick uh, hat switch of an Xbox controller to pan and tilt um, and I'm using a button to switch between internal and external view so let's go out of focus here and use the Xbox controller and I'm now panning okay the view right so there we go um, set it back to where it was all right and then if I press the button that I've got programmed I can go to the external view and I can swing around like that and while I'm flying PSX it's really easy just to flip between these views without having to do anything other than use my right hand and I can really concentrate on flying the airplane and that's basically all there is to setting up these views in the manual I explain how to use the uh, flight simulator setup to set up the uh, Xbox controller to do that um, so that it flips between the intern the external view and the internal view and it, 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 it pans um, as well so that's basically all there is to setting up the view with these POSCI aircraft uh, thank you very very much for watching and the next video number four will be connecting PSX to these models using wide PSX so for now thank you very much for your time